Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today is my first day of actually doing the first job of the season. So last night I brought the uh, log splitter and the ferris over from my parents' place. So it's on the trailer right now. So I gotta take them both off. Then I gotta take the log splitter and hook it up to the truck. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna have to make sure I've got uh, the tires blowing up on that log splitter because it uh, sat all winter. And then I'm gonna hopefully try and film this log splitting job for you guys. So let's see how this goes. So this was the first job of my season to get her started. The customer had actually uh, asked me about a month and a half ago if I could do this for him. He just uh, couldn't keep up with it and he didn't want to do the wood anymore. So I said I could do it, but I would have to wait for the snow to melt, uh, which I'm glad it did because uh, this drive is so full of snow we couldn't get the log splitter in there anyways if we had wanted to. So uh, I did have some problems with the log splitter. I explained it later on in the video, but um, the wood was a little bit frozen to the ground still, uh, some of the bottom pieces. So I was taking some larger chunks of wood, throwing it at the uh, other chunks of wood to try and get it loosened up so I could finish the job. I didn't really want to have to come back to finish it. Uh, at first, I thought I was going to have to because, like I said, the log splitter wasn't working very good for me. But anyways, I didn't have to come back. I got it all done. Um, I think there's only one piece I couldn't get out. So... When we come back to do the spring cleanup, I'll probably just bring an axe with me and we can just chop it up quickly for them. Probably would take two minutes to do it. Um, and then, yeah, that job will be completely done. Uh, I did uh, notice, if you see, I put the tarp down on the ground. Uh, he does have a stone driveway, so I thought I would take the tarp and put it underneath the log splitter. That way, you know, all the little pieces that fall off uh, wouldn't get all in the gravel driveway and it would be much easier cleanup which it was at the end, all I did was take the tarp and drag it in the bush and there you go, I was done. Otherwise, I would have had to take a leaf blower and try and blow all that crap out of the uh, out of the um, stone driveway and it would have taken me a lot longer and uh, it would not have been fun. So, good little tip. Anyways, guys, this is uh, where we stack the wood. That will kind of overhang there, so you wanted all the wood stacked there, so it did. So, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're almost at... Uh, uh, thousand subscribers we're at 950 right now so smash that subscribe button Alright, so there seems to be a problem with the log splitter. For some reason, it is not 
uh, splitting very well. It's not getting through the wood. Uh, I checked all the hydraulics. It looks like there's nothing leaking out of any of the um, tubes. But this hardwood I have is not chopping through whatsoever. As soon as it hits the wood, it's just stopping completely. The softwood, it's going through it, but just barely. So I'm gonna try and get as much of this softwood done as I can. I have to try and figure out who I can take this to to get it fixed. And I'll have to come back and finish this uh, job off after. But let's keep going and uh, see what we can get done today.
Alrighty, so that job is pretty much done. I'm just gonna clean it up. I actually was able to get through everything. Uh, the log splitter kind of worked a little okay, just kind of slowly went with it. Uh, but got all done. There's a little bit of wood still frozen in there. But I'm just gonna leave it with gonna do uh, spring cleanup anyway. So maybe bring an axe, just finish axing up when we come out here next time. Alright guys, if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.